In this episode of OS First Timer, Dinah's going to be customising the Windows 11 Start Menu and Taskbar with Start 11. Will a radioactive start button be appealing to her, or will a rocky taskbar be more her style? Keep watching to find out. So here you are on the desktop of Windows 11 with the default start menu. Now I know you personally have everything on your desktop, so you never use a start menu. No. So let's have a quick look at what the start menu looks like and then we'll be checking out something called Start 11 which allows you to pick from a bunch of different start menu styles. So let's have a look at what we've got in the start menu today. So you've got pinned applications. Yes. So applications that you want to appear when you open them. So almost like your shortcuts here. Yeah. But this this is technically what I've already got on some bar somewhere. You can have oh, no, it no, somewhere else. No, no, I've got else. it on the yeah, bar. Yeah, you, you'd have them all like that. But if you wanted your programs in here, you, you mm. click on that. Let's say you can't fit them all on the bar, and then you put the rest See, of them See, I here. don't like the start menu, f yeah. full stop. I like having an on-off. And all the, you know, little things okay. that I use, I just click it. But like, what about when you, something's not in your bar, you've just installed... I'll put it on then. But when you've just installed something, you'd go to all apps and then you'd have to come through, scroll, because all of these don't fit on the bar, you know, and then you can grab well, and then you can put it I just use the on. ones that I use. I put on the bar the yeah. ones that I use. Okay. And then you've got things uh, here that you've recently done, an on-off switch, and of course, you know, account settings there too. But let's say you don't like that and you want some new settings. Well, I don't like that <laughs> and that's why I've got what I've got. Well, you've got an option, for example, Windows 7 style. And this menu style makes it look like the one in Windows 7. So you've got your programs down here, all programs in there, nice mm -hmm. easy folder like that. And then you've got things like here, if you want to get to your documents folder, you can click on documents, your pictures folder. I think I folder. do prefer that over the first one. Yeah, the first one felt all over the place. It did, this seems it felt neat. very scattered. Yeah, exactly. This seems more organized. And this even has links to, you know, if you want to get to, you know, certain things that mm. the other one didn't have and control panel, control panel would open. But anyway, even here in this Windows 7 style menu, you can do some other options here. For example, you might want a grid Windows 7 style, which kind of has the programs like that rather than mm. in a row, if you prefer well, that. Well, actually, I do like icon type style. Yeah. So you yeah. can even customise different things yeah. within this. You know what I mean? And with icons there. So if you want little icons... No, I think I do prefer this. this. This seems less scattered. Yeah. Like. And you can even go to configure here. And if we come over here, we can change the appearance. Instead of using an automatic colour, you can pick a colour. Let's say you like a, a, a purplish colour like that, a light purple. I do like a you light You click OK, purple. and then it's a light purple. Okay. See? That's nice. So you can do stuff like that too, changing the colour yeah. as well. I think it makes it a bit hard to read these things personally, but, you know, if you like it, you can. See, so you've even got these settings as you can adjust the fonts and the visual effects mm. and stuff, even a custom menu background. Maybe you want flowers in the background. No, I want a seagull. You could technically do that. It's a little bit of advanced stuff, which we might check out later. But let's have a look. Oh, and there's even in the configuration here, you can even do things like... See, um, shut down. Do you want shut down to have a power button on? If you want it to show a shut down icon, there, then it has an icon. Yeah, I do. So like you can the change icon. settings like that. So check out some of the other styles now. So that was the Windows 7 style. What style do you want to check out next? We'll have a look at the modern style. Modern style. So open it up. That's what they call a modern style. Okay. So it's similar. Yeah. Did you prefer the Windows 7 or you actually like this? No, I prefer the Windows 7, actually. A Windows 10 star. So let's give this one a go. I hated the Windows 10. Remember the, the weird yeah, Wall Street like on one either. side, then your applications on one? Don't like I it. I hated that. I was so glad when Windows 11 went with mm. a better style. So this is the Windows 11 one with some enhancements. So it's yeah. got some more customizability. An updated Windows 7 style, uh, Windows 11 style. So there you go. Oh, so this one, I actually like this. So this is the normal Windows 11. Mm-hmm programs, and then you click all applications to see everything. I like this particular one they've got here, the Windows app style, an updated Windows 11 style, where you've got your programs, and then and you can just scroll straight away yeah. there, and there's I no think clicking I an extra that step. Too. That's cool too, isn't it? Because yeah. I like getting rid of the extra steps. It is a little bit more bloated though, there's more stuff everywhere, but I don't know, having it right there is useful. 
in, in my opinion. So you've also got a Windows Pro style there. So this is another updated Windows 11 look. Oh, so you've got documents down. You know how you can never find your downloads folder? Mm -hmm. Downloads. There it is. There it is. The you know, you can go there. So that's a, a great thing. A Windows launcher style. No, yeah. I preferred that other oh, one. Oh, search that... apps at the top. I see that. I yeah. did prefer that other one that had them here and had the scrolling thing. Okay, so you want to set that one as the, yeah. the thing? Was that that one? Yeah, it was this one. Okay, perfect. But I still prefer my setup. I know. I know. This doesn't only change things with the start menu. Let's say you don't like that start button. I mean, who wants four... I, I actually can't find a way to knock this start button. I can't criticise it on camera. But anyway, what you do need to do if you want to change, for some reason, if you want to change what this looks like, mm -hmm. this button, you have to move it everything onto the side. Then... We can have custom buttons. So that's that. Stardox logo, but you could change it to, let's say you wanted in black and white. No. Let's say you wanted, oh, you like animals, a paw print. No. You don't like paw prints? Okay, have a look. It doesn't at, go. Have a look at some of the other options you've got. Next one. No. Yeah, I don't like that one either. Oh, that looks like up. Like you click on this, it's going to come up, you know. None of these really jump out to me, I must yeah. admit. Yeah, little basic... Windows. Yeah, but then it's not blue. Yeah, I know. But then when you hover over it, it goes black. Yeah. Yeah. Triangle. Triangle one. It's triangle two. That one I actually kind of like. No, out of all of them, I just like the original. If you don't like any of them, you can even download, and they've got more you can choose from. Maybe you, a little bird, so you can actually even go and grab your own images. Okay. Oh, they've even got a biohazard example here, um, but you could grab your own. Oh, look, biohazard. And you put your cursor over it. Warning, warning. You know. I don't know whether I want to put my cursor over that. <laughs> but think you could actually get your own images. Get a bird. Mm. And you could have a bird that you click on and that opens everything up. You know what I mean? Yeah. There we go. Back to normal. Okay. So your taskbar, you can even enhance that. Your open programs can have the words there and stuff. Um, you can choose like rounded corners and stuff. So give it rounded corners. And that's a little floating little taskbar there. It looks a bit more stylish then. Yeah, it actually, I yeah. kind of think it looks pretty. Now you can even pick your own colour once again for the start bar. So let's say you want a, like that. Yeah. There you go. So you can have a light little pink shade. It's not just a start menu, it's even the task bar that you can, things, and you can adjust the transparency. Let's say you want it a bit more transparent so you can see your background through it. Mm -hmm. I actually think that looks pretty cool. I actually think that <laughs> reminds me of um, Windows Vista. Yeah. It'll also, like, a bit like KDE. It's almost making Windows more customizable. Mm. Remember KDE, that customizable desktop Linux environment? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you've got all these advanced settings, medium rounded. You can have slightly rounded. See how it's very slightly rounded? Rounded, yeah. But if you go to, for example, medium rounded, it's a bit it's more. Smaller. Or you could do like extremely rounded. Or maybe you want maximum rounded. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a little curve. See? That's actually quite cool to be honest. What did you like though? Did you like sort of medium rounded or you do like this? Slightly round. Oh, I don't know. I look up. It's I've, hard to pick now. It's we'll not just leave something it on that I sit there and think about quite honestly. Now, sometimes you want to know how many, se like you don't know, just looking at this, when's yeah. it going to be one at 18? You don't know. No. But if you turn on the seconds, you've got the seconds to get, and you will know now when it's going to be 118. Um, wait. Now guess what? What? Oh, yeah, you can kind of move things around. That's the Mackie? Oh, yeah, there you go. Middle. There you go, and that's it in the middle. But I don't know, when, when you've got all this blank space there, I feel like it should be left aligned. Yeah, it should be you know what I mean? If, you, if you're doing that kind of a taskbar yeah. that we just kind of did. You can even apply a custom texture. So let's go with fabric. And you can oh, have it like that. Or maybe... Oh, marble. Look on it. A marble taskbar. It's more like just lines oh, well, going down. I think the... Remember the transparency? Something more solid. You get what I mean? But it needs to be not pink. It needs to be more white. White? Pick white. Okay. There you go. You like it? Well, it's not really. It's just the same line repeated. It's not really like marble. True yeah. marble has all variations and different sort of grey veins. Okay. Well, how about vein. you... Um... Rock. Oh, a rock. I like Oh, yeah, that. a rough rock. Oh, and a rusty metal. You'd don't make that like, more of a rust, like rusty, rusty metal. metal. But, yeah, so many different... And even wood. No. Go back to rock. Oh, oh, that's cool. Even in the start menu here, let's say, see all these apps. Let's say there's a certain colour that you like. You can go to appearance here. You can even make the background of this, like, some texture. You custom... You get what I mean? Uh, but you can also make the icons a colour. Like, let's say you want them all to be a pink. 
all of them are pink. No, I if don't you like, like that. Yeah, I'm not into that either. <laughs> but it's it's something you can do. Because it doesn't really differentiate between them because it's a colour that's sort of like... Yeah, but you can also um, do different backgrounds, um, textures here. So we could make this, you know, but you'd set it up there and, and then your apps appear. But, but I don't know, I'm not into that either. <laughs> Background texture... There you go. Oh, Maybe really for the like whole that. bar as opposed to that. Yeah. Because just... it's this one thing. But anyway. So you can also do taskbar pins. So you know how here, maybe in your taskbar, you want to actually pin it something like a folder. So you know how you can never find your downloads folder? You can pin... But that's what I've already done on my thing. I, I've pinned all the things. Yeah, but I can need. you pin a folder? Here's the downloads folder and you can click on it. And you can access things in your down, and then you can drag them onto your desktop if you want. So that's mm -hmm. another thing you can do. So you can pin files, folders, and even folder menus on your taskbar, which you can't do in the normal Windows 11. Anyway, what do you think of Start 11? Is this a program that you feel adds some functionality, some customizability? Well, of course it adds functionality to it. And, yeah. But <laughs> I've already customized mine. I've got my little on-off switch there on the bottom thing. I've got all the things that I use on that bottom bar, and I've got things I use on that top bar as well. So I already feel that my computer's already customized, and I don't even have this. Yeah. So I technically can do without it, but I can see how some people may want to, you know, utilize this and customize the appearance of their thing. But as far as I'm concerned, I personally you don't need use it, personally. it because I've already customized my the way I want it. Exactly. Uh, there is more customizations you can do in this that you can't usually do in Windows 11. I mean, you, all the style, you don't care about start menus and stuff, obviously, because no. you don't use them. Um, but yeah, there are, you know, the ability for the folders and stuff and the look of it, which I don't think really matters to you. Oh, and you can also have the taskbar on the top of the screen. So let's talk about how much this program actually costs. And this is Start 11. This is their website on Stardock. And you can see the price. You yeah. pay $14 once. For your whole life, yeah, and you own rather it. Rather than not... a monthly fee. Well, they do have a monthly fee option. You can get this for 68 a year if you want. But why would you no. do that if you could <laughs> buy $14 outright? No, 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 no. But this is uh, a subscription to Object Desktop, which includes a dozen different programs instead of just this one. Um, all these different programs it includes. We can try some of these out next time. Um, but the thing is, if you, if you subscribe to that and you customised your thing... Yeah, then the you have to you keep it. paying for it. In order to keep that look, you have to keep paying for it That's every right. Year. I don't know. I like wouldn't. That. One of the things is deskscapes, and deskscapes allows you to set a video as a desktop background. So you could have an animated bird there. See the waves rolling and stuff on your desktop? Mm. You but see? That's just like a, a wallpaper that's moving. Yeah, exactly. You can have those. You can't. Not by can't default. You? No, you can't. You can't set a video background. Because I remember doing that. You've done that using a third-party program, basically. But yeah, so that's Deskscape. So that would be included in that thing. You know what I mean? But if mm -hmm. you want to buy it outright, it's $5, or you can pay $68 a year mm -hmm. to have it and other program. But I'm, I'm a person who agrees, look... Just buy it just once. Just buy it. You get Deskscapes 11, but if they release 12, you don't get 12 by it. You, you have to pay again to update to 12. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? But you, you get what you've paid for, and you keep that version for mm -hmm. as long as you want. But one day, it will be incompatible with the latest version of Windows. And that's why some people do Object Desktop. But I love the fact that they just let you make a choice. Mm -hmm. Do you want to pay $6 once, or do you want to pay $68 a year? Your choice. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of OS First Timer, and we'll see you guys in the next next episode. See you then.